Hey guys, uh, it's Denise again here with a quick gospel pop-up. I was actually on my way to church today. Um, I have a few more minutes before I have to leave. And I just want to, something's been on my mind. So I was just at um, our worship leader's home, um, Jonathan Allen from Grace Chapel. And he had a bunch of us over the worship community. And it was really sweet. Um, during some of our worship, um, they were playing guitar back and forth. And we all just kind of praised God. And during that time, God gave me a word. And I was a little afraid to speak it. So I didn't, but I did before I left. So the word was, and it, it, I woke up this morning and it, and it was still in my heart. And the word was, God is saying, reach in, reach in and grab hold of the gold and everything I have in you, I've planted in you, even in the darkest moments, even in the darkest places, I've hidden my gold. And I keep thinking about that because isn't it right that I don't know about you, but when I have come to the dark places in my life, I've run. I don't stay in those dark places or I haven't stayed in those dark places in the past. And God is saying, even in the darkest places, there's gold. He says, not only will I not leave you in the dark, but I don't want you to leave me in the dark. God doesn't want us to leave him in the dark because guess what? Where are we going to go? We're going to go back to whatever it was we did when we were in the dark. We were going to go back to, I don't know, what whatever that thing was. Um, for me, I'll get a bottle of wine and I'll drink the whole thing. Um, whatever that thing could be or could have been. Um, we're going to just go back to those things. And guess what? Guess where God is while we're doing those things? God, you guys, is still in the dark waiting for us to get there because he knows we're going to show up there again. God never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He finds us. He continually draws us to him if we're seeking him. So God is in your dark. I just want you to know that. He's in your dark waiting for you because he is the light in your dark. And what God wants us to do when we get to that place where we just want to run or hide or we feel like we can't go any further because all we see is darkness, that's when God is saying, dig, dig, dig deeper. Because in that deep place, when you keep on digging, you're going to find the gold that I buried there in you. So I just hope this may have encouraged somebody because sometimes... I know I've given up many, many, many times in my life because I didn't have the faith to keep on digging, to keep on going after it, to keep on developing my relationship with Jesus. But the bottom line is, you guys, Jesus loves you and me. He died on the cross with his arms open wide saying, come on in, come on in. He didn't die on the cross with his fists, with his, with his arms all folded up. He's a loving, giving, receiving God. So I just want to encourage you the next time you get to that place, or if you're in that place right now where it's dark, you've gone so far, but all of a sudden you've hit a wall and you're like, I don't see hope. There is no, there's nothing. I want you to keep on going. We have to keep pursuing him in order to get the prize, the gold, to get to the other side of what he's got for us. So I just um, hope and pray that we'll keep doing that. So um, God, I pray that you would just continue to give us eyes to see what you want us to see, ears to hear what you want us to hear, tongues that speak your truth, and hearts that follow you. Till next time, see you later. Bye. On my way to church.